Just a quick video today. Just got back from our trip to Alabama. 950 some odd miles ish each way. Driving a Jeep this year. Traded the 2014 Dodge Ram three quarter ton. Uh, just something smaller. And then we had to get a much smaller camper. So the 28 foot Wildwood camper is gone. Bought a new Winnebago Winnie Drop. Not as roomy, but that's fine. Camping shouldn't be sitting in a camper anyway. Uh, but this was our first time towing with this Jeep. 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, only difference I'd change is prefer manual transmission. I could keep it in the gear I wanted in without it up shifting or down shifting whenever I don't want it to. Uh, but it's a nice Jeep. Uh, 35s, mud tires, rims bigger than I need. Uh, those will go away when it's time to get new tires. They were on it when I bought it, 20 inch rims. Moved down to probably a 17, get a little more rubber on the tires. Just wanted to do a quick video of uh, the towing setup this year. Uh, one thing I do like <clears throat> is the anti sway hitch. It's the uh, bar tow type as opposed to the chains that hold it. Uh, I prefer the bar type, just personal preference. Do suggest them on any shorter wheelbase vehicle that is towing, uh, just because it stops the sway a lot. Uh, that's the same hitch that we had on the last truck and camper combination. Uh, so it towed nice. Uh, we got around 10 miles a gallon, better than the truck. Uh, comfortably cruised 65 70 miles an hour the whole way in third gear for the most part a lot of third gear driving uh, second gear to pass or catch up keep up with traffic at times in the hills best gas mileage probably came in uh, Illinois and Wisconsin before we really got down into Kentucky Tennessee where there was more hills more ups and downs uh, but it was definitely a fun trip I definitely don't regret getting the Jeep uh, Definitely toes a lot different than the uh, Dodge did. And we went down from a 28-foot camper to a 18-foot camper, which was quite the change. Uh, main reason for the change, uh, more room inside of the Jeep. Uh, we had the truck towing with me and my wife, two kids, a couple dogs. Uh, turned into... Big dogs laying on little children, making for unhappy campers. Uh, of course, traveling with wives and children can be a mess. My Jeep is never this dirty. Uh, but to get a 12 year old to complete a basic task of please just take the garbage out when we stop. Speaking of stops, uh, it's a Jeep. So towing a camper, not the best gas mileage. Uh, so we stopped every hour to hour and a half, 100 to 150 miles per tank. I uh, don't got the exact numbers. Uh, whoever lifted the Jeep before I bought it never did anything with the speedometer. So the speedometer reads slow, about five under. Uh, but still, frequent stop switch does good for my fatigue. Uh, but it fit perfect back here. We had room for the one dog. A little 20 pound or so terrier something mix. And then of course the little kennel here. We got a new dog, a puppy. Uh, apparently a chocolate lab pit bull mix. Uh, nice thing about the Jeep, there's room inside for the cooler, room inside for the dogs. Uh, air conditioner worked great. Uh, the cooler, Ozark Trails, Walmart brand ripoff of uh, the Yeti. Worked pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, when we were driving, we didn't really keep the top latched, so that my stepdaughter could reach over to the back and get whatever we wanted out of the cooler while we were driving uh, and still be in her seat belt without having to climb over and fight with stuff. So, did stay together pretty good. Any questions on the Jeep camper combination? Uh, let me know. Have a good day. A couple things I uh, neglected to mention that you gotta do with these. Seven pin connector there needs to get installed as well as a uh, brake controller. We went with uh, just plain basic Kurt electronic brake controller. Also the one thing I liked that I did with this is uh, the uh, 
lock her down security products uh, safe for the center console. Uh, the safe's not as complete as some of the other locker down products that they make. Uh, this one doesn't have the metal sides on two sides on the inside, so uh, the only thing protecting it from being busted into is that, the brake being in the way, and then on the back side, the air conditioning vent. And the, well, no, there's no air conditioning in the back, but the, the switch is for the uh, windows and the uh, electronics there. So, a couple things I do suggest, especially traveling in a Jeep with a soft top. Uh, it gave me a little bit of peace of mind when I had my iPod for my music in there, uh, my knife, if I'm carrying a pistol, uh, which we didn't do on this trip because Illinois is a bunch of libtard idiots. So, uh, I left my guns here in Wisconsin and we drove out. Uh, don't trust driving through Illinois based on the things I've heard. So, I just wanted to add that in there too. Any questions about those items, as well as the Jeep, the camper, the uh, towing setup, the hitch, just let me know. Uh, you guys have a great day.